alcohol abuse and drug addiction destroyed my life. They also confused me. I drank alcohol and used drugs to have fun and became addicted. I drank alcohol and used drugs for happiness and I became miserable. I drank alcohol and used drugs for friendship and lost them all. I drank alcohol and used drugs to stimulate thought and I blacked out. I drank alcohol and used drugs to forget and became haunted. I drank alcohol and used drugs to erase problems and saw them multiply. In 1983, my addiction to cocaine, my alcoholism, and my insane behavior got me arrested and convicted. I was sent to prison. This was clearly my bottom. I went to treatment and got to prison sober. I was in a place and frame of mind where some basic changes could take place if I let them. The state of California thought they were punishing me. Somewhere deep inside, I knew I had been rescued. The one thing that gave me hope and saved my life while locked up was I knew that alcohol and drugs is what got me there. That meant that if I stayed sober, I'd stay free. I used to play for the Dallas Cowboys. They called me Hollywood. I played in three Super Bowls. I could run. I could hit. I was one of the few guys to stop Earl Campbell one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> I played on America's team. And then I got high. Found myself in a state penitentiary in, in California. I went from being number 56 to C87983. <laughs> See, that's a long number. Ain't no numbers like that in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, my, my whole life, I, I'd been from, from Super Bowl to cell block, but many horrifying stops along the way, man. When I ended up in the penitentiary in California, Hollywood, locked up in the joint, I said, man, how do you get here from the Super Bowl? I had it going on. And then I smoked a rock. <laughs> I know where you're living right now. Because I lived there for two years and four months. That ain't no short time. Y'all want to know why I was in the penitentiary? Because I'm going to introduce myself now. My name is Thomas Henderson, and I'm a drug addict and alcoholic. <laughs> I know I've seen a guy that uh, was a great, great athlete, Thomas Henderson, who uh, went to the bottom. And uh, uh, now he's, uh, he's back on top. He might not be back on top as the greatest linebacker or the, or the guy with the most money in this country, but he's got a piece. He's got, a, he's got, a, he's got his self-esteem back. Hollywood Henderson in the joint. Broke, homeless, lying. Are you, I even got to the penitentiary line. One lucky thing for me, though, before I went to prison, I went to a treatment center, because you know how it is when you get convicted or get, you get arrested or you get, they start taking you to that court process. We'll do anything to get out of trouble. So when the opportunity came for me to go to a drug rehab center while I was facing some felony charges, I said, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go to rehab. We, we do that when we get in trouble. Sign me up. Because the judge might smile on me. I was lucky. I stayed sober eight months before I went to prison. Thought when I went before that judge, he was going to give me probation. I hate, man, I've been to rehab, man. Come on, man, don't, don't lock me up. He locked me up. 